Welcome back. <coughs> How's it going, 3D gang? I'm back with another video. And due to popular demand, we're gonna do anime, more specifically. Jotaro Dio Kakatu de Gedai. I I I don't know how to say that in Japanese, but basically that meme that says, "Oh, uh -huh. you approaching me, Jotaro." That's gonna be turned in 3D. It's gonna be spectacular. So better stay in for the journey. And right now, as you can see behind me, we're doing the beautiful face of Dio Brando. Actually, there is nothing behind me. I look like a <coughs> path because it's just it's just a green screen. Back to the anime. I gotta admit that this was very challenging because I don't usually sculpt anime characters. The only anime character I did was a while ago. It was Frieza. And I did this one for a school project a while ago. Yes, my 3D teacher was really cool. He let us do cool characters. It's because it's 3D gang, okay? We're not that boring teacher that Nobody draws anime. That's not gonna get you a job in the industry. <laughs> these people. It's 3D gang. 3D gang is accepting. 3D gang is awesome. Here we accept your anime. But you know, after struggling for a little bit, trying to sculpt Dio's face, I just sat in silence, took deep breaths, just focused on my hormone, and I was able to do this. It's not the final though. There's still a lot more to do, a lot more to go. Whatever you say. Now it's time to sculpt Dio's body. But here's the thing. I'm not gonna sculpt it from scratch, otherwise this video will never be done. So I used the body that I already sculpted a while ago, okay? And according to my calculations, Dio Brando is more or less nine or nine and a half heads tall. My f tall as hell, man. Damn, no flaws in the building, bro. <laughs> anyway, with that in mind, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna first distort his body because you know the proportions. The drawers or the animators from JoJo, they're very creative. They create those characters that are like super buff, but yet yeah, super skinny. It's awesome, I love it. For example, the proportion of his shoulders, according to my calculations, he's like wow. five heads, five and a half heads wide. I mean, the dude is like Arnold Schwarzenegger on steroids, cubic squared. But anyway, after a while, after sculpting for a long time, this is more or less the result that we get right here, which is really awesome. Anyway, the proportions are awesome. Nine and a half heads tall. It's basically those fashion drawings. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at this. You can clearly see that the mangaka who drew Dio Brando. <laughs> I should stop with this. But the creators obviously had in mind some fashion drawings to create these, the, these characters. Because I mean, Dio's sense of fashion is absolute uh the creme de la creme what kind of vampire doesn't want to walk around with a heart on their forehead there's nothing more intimidating than that anyway enough of crap and now let's move to the pose now with the pose it was really difficult because i want to keep the essence of the meme it will not take you too long to realize that the drawing is pretty much distorted right to emphasize the drama of that scene but i try to keep it more or less realistic you know what i mean but you know so i didn't distort his body too much for that pose but still looks pretty lit in a very intimidating pose with his weird hand pose that uh, god knows why he's doing this with his hand you know what i mean his left hand why is dio doing that nobody knows i don't care it's awesome anyway and this is right here bam check this turntable Dio Brando, looking awesome as heck in his 3D form done by yours truly, Paulo Animations. My name is actually Paulo Reyes, but nobody cares. Now, now it's time to move into Jotaro. Now, here's the thing with Jotaro. His proportions are basically the same as Dio's. Who would have thunk? Basically nine and a half heads tall, pretty easy. So I decided to use the same sculpture to work from, to do Jotaro. So from his proportions, I basically modify the face a little bit. And again, as I said, the face was a bit of a struggle because I'm not used to sculpting anime. So that's the moment that you focus on your hum. Take deep breaths. And you just keep sculpting. Then you get to the point of doing the clothes and everything. And I'm gonna lie, his design is one of my favorites ever. 
I watched this video, I forgot, I'm just gonna put on screen, talking about his design and how cool his design is. Basically uses school uniform mixed with a messed up hat with a Buddhist symbol on his forehead that means do not fear. He has a chain. I mean, the guy, Jutaru, is someone that you shouldn't be messing with. And I think he also talks about his sense of fashion because of the two belts. Totally agree. I mean, who would wear a two belt? Not even the red carpet would see that. Rihanna, step your game up, girl. Hmm. Got nothing on Jojo. Anyways, but after hours, after many, many hours of my life, sculpting Jotaro's clothes. Now it's the moment to pose him in that dramatic, awesome pose. Which is basically him putting his hand on his pocket and walking towards Dio, which is still an awesome pose. And here's how you pose him. I taught you this in many other videos, but just to remind you, you just do boom, bam, ba, ba da ba boom, pow. <laughs> now here's the turntable from Jotaro. Look at this magnificent 3D model. Now, is it perfect? No. I know you're gonna go in the comments and trash me for this, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of proud of this one. Now, it's time to put these two together and turn it and distort it and make it even crazier to look like the actual meme or the manga page. Whatever you prefer. Semantics, people. But here's the thing. I thought that I hit record on OBS so I could show you the process of me putting all the pictures together and turning into the final product, but I forgot. I'm a moron, guys. If you follow me for a little bit, you know that I'm a moron. It's no surprise, but here is the final version. beauty right here make sure to hit that subscribe button and I have a question should I turn these bad boys here into a toy let me know in the comments you asked me so much to do an anime there it is people I hope you enjoyed this shout out to my patreon supporters if you want the final version the 4k image resolution full-blown master blaster 9000 be a patreon supporter it's all in the description thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one 3d game